And I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake, God. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house and putting his hands on him. Brother Saul said, the Lord, even Jesus, saw, that appeared unto thee in the way as thy king have sent me, that thou might receive thy sight and be filled with the Holy Ghost. And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scales. He received sight immediately and arose and was baptized. And when he had received me, he was strengthened. Then was Saul there certain days with the disciples which were at the masters. Uh, and straightway he preached Christ in the synagogue that he is the Son of God. Uh, the word of God for you, the people of God. Uh, I know uh, I've been changed. If you don't know it, if you don't know it, I cannot tell you. Uh, I know I've been changed. I pray that you are able to say that, and I want to maybe take it a little further. I know I've been changed for the better. Some of us get changed for the worse. Uh, uh, some of us go the wrong way. Uh, uh, but I come to encourage you. Uh, I come to instruct you, even to warn you. Uh, first and foremost, that the God I serve, the God that hopefully you serve, uh, never changes. Uh, but you and I, uh, have to change. Uh, why? For the Bible state that we were shaken in iniquity and in sin we were conceived. Uh, that leads a little doubt to where we begin. Uh, we begin outside of where God has intended uh, for us to be. Uh, just because the uh, you are initially dealt uh, somewhat a bad hand. Uh, you had no say uh, in being born. Uh, and now you find yourself in this precarious situation, lost uh, a sinner, not a God. Talk. Through no fault of your own. Uh, uh, by the mere fact you being born, uh, you now have the label sin. You play no part in this thing. Uh, and you are the result of others' actions uh, to get in the death. Uh, uh, and as a result, uh, you were born. Uh, and now you being condemned uh, for what they, they did. Uh, uh, what were you on the thing? Uh, when he was before, I can say, Mama or Daddy. Uh, uh, I'm in danger. Uh, I'm in danger. Uh, well, well, uh, I don't want you to get all bent out of shape. Uh, don't begin to wring your hands and, and, and holler, it ain't fair. Man. Well, well, I know ain't is. I know ain't is. Incorrect uh, language, but it, it is one that we can understand, right? Like, uh, you know, we, we quick to holler, uh, it ain't fair. Uh, but there's something, uh, maybe it's not fair, uh, but there's something that we can all do to change the situation. Uh, there are so many in the world who cry fire uh, when they can reset their lives uh, by allowing Jesus to create a new you uh, or a new me. Uh. Too many of us, uh, we relish in the throes of pity. Uh. Too many lament their starting position. Uh. 
Let me use the analogy of um, sports. Uh, the relay team uh, that runs against another team uh, at the start of the race, uh, they must run in their lanes uh, for a certain time. Uh, and then they can move down closer uh, to the inside of the track and run there if they so desire. Uh, what you saying, Pastor? It's, it matters not where you start, uh, uh, but it's where, where you finish. Uh, uh, look at us, look at us. Uh, uh, all of us uh, have went through, huh? Or going through changes in our lives. Uh, for some of us, huh? Uh, for some of us, sister Lord, uh, what was once young and tight uh, is now old and fat. Uh, 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 what was once black uh, is now white or young at all. Uh, what, what, what was a member? Uh, uh, what was once a member uh, is now still. Uh, uh, what was used to be fun uh, uh, is now work. Uh, what's the saying, preacher? Time brings about a change. Uh, and none of us are immune from it. Uh, uh, I know I, I, I know some of you are still trying to tell me about it. You can do all you want. You have changed. Uh, uh, you have changed. Now let me say this as well. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with it, huh? Uh, ain't nothing wrong with you looking your best. Uh, uh, I'm not trying to tell you to quit. Uh, I'm just trying to remind us that time, what you say? Time brings about a change. Enough about the physical, huh? 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 But the kind of change that I want to focus on this morning, huh? it's not physical change, but rather spiritual change. You see, Satan is trying to prevent us from recognizing that in order for us to be God-like, uh, there must be a metamorphosis uh, uh, in our lives. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Many have asked many times, uh, what is the secret to change? Uh, the only true change I know of is that which the Holy Spirit gives. Uh, God opens the doors. Uh, he supplied the power uh, to accomplish it, but we are still agents, I told you some weeks ago, of free will. Uh, it is our choice to work in cooperation with the Holy Spirit uh, and see true change in our lives. Uh, you know, some sins, we, we, we just do know them. We know it's a sin, but we do it anyhow. Uh, it is a rebellious sin. Uh, it is a stronghold in our lives uh, that we have not turned over to the Lord yet. You see, you got to understand you are a work in progress. Uh, 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 some sinners, we do our ignorance. Uh, we don't know any better, huh? But it's still sin. Uh, for change to happen, your eyes have to come open. Uh, there must be a revelation. Uh, in rebellion of sins, we need a revelation of how danger and destructive our sin is. Uh, oh, oh, to take a 45 and put one cartridge in it uh, and spin it, uh, playing Russian roulette, huh? Uh, that's just stupid, is uh, uh, Is it? Uh, in ignorance, uh, we need to realize that uh, we are grieving the Lord uh, in our actions. Uh, and we know that we grieve the Lord when we do those things that are wrong. Uh, we need to change where? In our lives. Uh, when we sin, uh, we have only one choice. Uh, 
Huh? Repent. Huh? Or keep on doing what you do. Huh? huh? But if you want to go to heaven, <laughs> repentance is the only option you have. Huh? Of turning away from the old choices. Huh? But again, but again, now, God give us free will. The choice is up to you. Huh? Uh, it's, it's yours to make, but, but, but I, I'm speaking now. Uh -huh. uh, my wife ought to remind me, she said, I'm a fool grown. <laughs> I mean, I'll be talking to her, she said, I'm a child, I'm a fool grown. Uh -huh. Yes, you are. Uh -huh. But as the head of the house, uh, I'm speaking right now. Uh -huh.
and it can change you. Uh, but in order for that to happen, uh, 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 my Sunday school teacher said this morning, first thing you gotta do uh, is take a good long, I, I mean a good long look, uh, Most respected rabbi 
of the day. Yeah. In fact, Saul was so zealous for what he believed. Yeah. And if you did not agree with him, uh, he believed you ought to die uh, uh, for your heresy. Uh, yeah. Saul had become known as a religious terrorist. Uh, Saul lived by a code, uh, a strict code. Uh, it said that if you follow Jesus, you are a troublemaker, huh? And you have to be removed, beaten, placed in jail, uh, or killed. Uh, so he began his mission uh, of persecuting Christians. Uh, and it consumed him. Uh, it became his whole life. Uh, like some of us hunt deer, he was hunting Christians. Uh, after Stevenson had died, uh, you do know he held the coat while they killed him, right? Huh? Many in the church uh, moved out of Jerusalem uh, in fear of their safety. Uh, and Saul uh, was going after them. Uh, and apparently, uh, quite a few of them uh, made their way to Damascus. Uh, so he decided that he would do some clearing out uh, in the northern city. Uh, Saul, Saul had a heart filled with hatred, uh, a mind poisoned by prejudice. Uh, he had become a raging fury. Uh, but you know, something funny happened. Uh, uh, when I say funny, it's not laughable. Uh, but something happened to him uh, on the way to the master. What happened? What happened? I, I, I'm glad, yes. I'm glad. Uh, and the Bible says he went his way. Uh, he approached Damascus, uh, and suddenly, uh, a light from heaven uh, uh, flashed around him, uh, and falling to the ground, uh, he heard a voice saying to him, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Uh, and Saul, the first man, who are you? Uh, and he said, well, I'm glad you got to huh? I'm Jesus, that's who I am. Uh, uh, and you persecute me. Uh, uh, a new perspective uh, is now forced on Saul. Uh, you see, God knows how to get your attention, don't he? Uh, uh, he can get your attention. Uh, and this is what happened here. Uh, Jesus makes the contact uh, with a light so bright, uh, it literally knocks Saul down. Uh, so much needs to be locked down. Huh? So much got to be from fridges. Huh? Flat on the ground, though. Huh? Blinded and flung down. Huh? It's time for Saul to shut up and listen. Huh? And Saul, hear the voice. Huh? The question, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Huh? And Saul, the other had a meal. Uh, 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 and hear a stunning revelation. It's Jesus. Uh, the very one he does not believe in. Uh, the very one whose followers he has been chasing. Uh, and what Saul discovered is that he, like many of us, uh, had religion, uh, but he did not have a relationship uh, uh, with God. Uh, 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 it was turning out to be true. Uh, Jesus gave Saul a choice right there. Uh, Saul, you got a choice. Uh, what's the choice? Uh, you can hear, number one, you can hear, or number two, you can hear and obey. Uh, and that's what many of us fail. Uh, we need to quit running out of mouth so much. Uh, we're spouting out so much. Uh, we need to shut up uh, and listen to what God is saying to us. Uh, Saul was put on the ground, uh, but he was not made into a robot. Uh, his personality was not violated. Uh, he is not compelled to perform, uh, but he does have a choice. Uh, keep doing what you're doing, uh, or you can follow my directions. Uh, and for Saul, 
uh, things. Uh, he followed the instructions uh, that Jesus gave him that day. Uh, how about you? Uh, I need to get out of here. Uh, how about you? Uh, are you doing uh, what Jesus has told you to do? Uh, the instructions, uh, they are so simple. Uh, he said, rise and go into the city. Uh, guess what? You will be told what to do. Uh, I stand up here Sunday after Sunday, uh, trying to tell you what to do. Uh, huh? That preacher in my being, you know, he's trying to tell me what to do. No, I'm just trying to tell you what the Lord wants you to do. Uh, the men who were traveling with him, uh, they stood speechless. Uh, that they hear the voice, uh, but they saw no one. Uh, saw rose from the ground. Uh, Although his eyes was open, huh? he saw nothing. Huh? So they had to lead him by the hand, huh? brought him into the masters. Huh? He who was spiritually blind, huh? he is now also physically blind. Huh? It is probably fair to say that God, huh? like some of you, uh, God had been knocking at Saul's door for him, huh? He knocking at some of your doors, huh? Saul, he been knocking at Saul hard uh, for some time, uh, but Saul uh, was too big, huh? And God uh, was unable to get a hearing, uh, so something drastic had to be done uh, to get him to turn around and understand the truth. So they stop that you get happen to you, huh? It because what uh, God is trying to tell you something. Uh, you won't listen, so he has to do something dramatic. Huh? Sometimes something you don't like. Huh? He may take you a long one uh, to get your attention. Huh? Don't let it go to that. Huh? I know I'm preaching. So Saul, uh, Saul, instead of Riding into the city like a conquering hero. Uh, he come living into the city. Huh? Blind, helpless, huh? being laid. Huh? He, he, he was lost, uh, full of self confidence, uh, pride. Huh? He's now humble, crushed, uh, and captivity. Huh? He had discovered. Uh, that is fruitful, full of life, that he thought uh, is really empty and worthless. Uh, some of us think, guess what, huh? Because I can dance all night, huh? I can drink, guess what? I'm having a good time. Guess what? Your life is really empty. You need Jesus. Uh, you need to make up your mind today. Who you going to serve? Well, well, but fortunately for us all, and for some of you, uh, the Lord Jesus, our Lord Jesus, uh, he was not yet done with Saul. Uh, three days, he was without sight. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't eat, uh, nor did he drink. Uh, three days, Saul had time to reconstruct uh, Everything he was uh, and did. Uh, Saul began to become clean before the Lord. Uh, it's a time of evaluation. Uh, it's a time of prayer uh, and confession. Uh, it's a time of repentance. Uh, later in life, uh, Saul, uh, who name was changed uh, to Paul. Uh, we look back at this event uh, and reflect uh, on how good God uh, had been good to him. Uh, for a long time, uh, God had been pursuing him, uh, prodding him, even pricking him, uh, making him harder and harder to resist. Uh, and yet he continued to resist uh, until God threw him to the ground. Uh, I hope and pray that you don't let God have to throw you to the ground. Uh, 
Uh, well, they, uh, he said it while we go get out of here. Uh, Saul, uh, Saul is making the connection. Uh, uh, that God uh, has been after him uh, for a long time. Uh, God uh, is letting him see uh, that he uh, indeed changed. Uh, and God uh, what I like about it, uh, God uh, won't leave you out there alone. Uh, God uh, sent somebody uh, to him. Uh, we're not called uh, to go find ourselves. Uh, God uh, tells us uh, to go uh, and minister to him. Uh, Yeah.